hello, what's going on everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got back from the theaters after checking out Spectre, which is a 2015 and the latest James Bond film, which is once again directed by Sam Mendes, who directed the last movie, which was my favorite James Bond movie of all time, Skyfall. So let's see how the follow-up did. The plot is we see Daniel Craig as James Bond. The beginning of the movie, we get this great action scene like most James Bond movies begin with. And of course, though, we find out that Bond was acting without the permission or on the behalf of MI6. They didn't know what he was doing. And once they find out, they're pissed. And of course, they kind of turn on him once again. So he's on his own. And he's going on his own mission to try to find out who or what the secret organization is. This organization that's called Spectre. And it's being run by Christoph Waltz. Who I'm sure a lot of people were wondering whether or not he's actually playing Blofeld himself. Now what I thought of Spectre was, I enjoyed this movie. I did. I liked it a lot. It's funny because right before I went to go see it, I saw a few reviews online of people being a little down on this film, and that surprised me. Some people were saying it was boring, or people saying it was lackluster and all this stuff, big disappointment, and that, that made me nervous going in, sure, but also now after watching it, I don't see as much what the issue is. I mean, look. It's not as action-packed as maybe the last few movies were, sure. But some of the action scenes in here are pretty damn awesome. You get a lot of car chases. One in particular that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, at the beginning, like I said, the big action scene with Bond fighting somebody in a helicopter. That was cool. I thought the strongest points of this movie was the story. I mean... We get a little bit more about James Bond's past, about his growing up, and things that have to do a lot with him. And this is what makes him personally connected to the villain and to this. This is what makes him want to track everything down and why he's so hell-bent on going after Christoph Waltz. So I thought that was fascinating as well. But obviously James Bond was, was great. Daniel Craig, you know, he's... He is my favorite, James Bond, and it sucks to see that he's not as happy playing this role anymore. He's kind of, or he said he's done. I don't know. That just kind of came out of nowhere. That sucks. But still, I liked his performance, Christoph Waltz. I'm not going to reveal who exactly he is, whether he's who we think he is, but I liked how they presented him. They presented him in a way where he was very mysterious, very ominous. The first scene where, where Bond has to infiltrate this little Spectre meeting that they're having, and you see just all of these rich people gathered around. There's this ta round table, Christoph Waltz sitting there in the shadows, and you hear his voice, and everybody else is quiet, and they don't know how to respond to him. It, it, was, it was nice setting up just how high up he is in this food chain. I want to also mention Dave Bautista, who plays Mr. Hinks. And he doesn't say anything, really. Uh, he has like one line in the movie, but just as a, as a physical threat, as somebody for Bond to have to go up against, I thought he was great. There's one fight scene they have on the train, which is very reminiscent, again, of the older Bond movies. This movie does sort of pay tribute to a lot of memorable things for any fans of the film, but the, the fight scene, like Batista is a beast, which you look at him, obviously, but I just, I liked how simple his character was, but still effective. Some of the Bond girls, we have Monica Bellucci, who still, I don't know how old she is, but she's still pretty hot. You have the character, Madeline Swan, who I'm not as familiar with this actress, but I thought she was cute. First, you come to a point where I'm trying to buy whether I can go with James Bond falling in love with her this quick. But okay, whatever, she's pretty. And then Naomi Harris as Money Penny, of course. I, I like her Money Penny 
probably more so than any other version. What more can I say about this movie? I'm sure not everybody's gonna love it or even like it as much as I did. I can admit it's not my favorite, it's not better than Skyfall, and I'm not sure if I would even say it's better than Casino Royale, but still, I liked a lot of things about it. I enjoyed it for what it was. I even loved the connection to all of the other Daniel Craig Bond movies. It was a lot of almost bringing everything full circle. My rating for Spectre, I'm going to give it a full price. Yes, full price. If you're a fan of Craig's Bond movies, then definitely, without a doubt, see this in the theater. I recommend it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!